What is going on guys and welcome to a new tutorial and today I'm going to show you how to do chromatic aberration in hit film. So we're going to start off and make a new composition. We're just going to make it 1280 by 720 Your skin stats what our source footage is. This is just some skate footage. Um, let's drag this in here. Now first thing we're going to do is we're going to split this video into a layer that has all the red in it, a layer that has all the blue in it and a layer that has all the green in it. So what we're going to do is we're going to select this layer and press Ctrl D twice. So we have three layers. And then we're going to apply Levels Histogram to it. Now what this will do is this will allow you to essentially turn off different um, colors. So here in Channels you're going to go to Red. Now this bottom one I'm only going to have... This bottom one is going to be the blue layer. So I'm going to turn off red and green. So it's going to go to red and I set red output white to zero. And then do the same for green. Next up we're going to apply this effect to the middle layer. Now this middle layer is going to be the green layer. So we're going to turn off red and we're going to turn off blue. Now the top layer is, you guessed it, going to be the red layer. So I'm going to go to green and set that to zero. And I'm going to go to blue and set that to zero. Now next up we're going to want to add up all these three layers. So we're going to select all these three layers. And right click, blend and select add. And there we go. Now we've kind of added up all the colors of the three layers. So now we have again the original footage. Now next up you're going to want to go to the middle layer. And I'm going to scale this up by only a little bit. So let's set this to 102. And on the top layer, you also want to scale it by a little bit. I like to do it double of the middle layer, so that's under a 4. And there you have it. Now you have Chromatic Aberration in it from Free Express. Now you can always switch these colors around or add some more effects as you wish, but that's going to do it. If you're doing this tutorial for a project or you have some views to express, or if you have any tutorial suggestions, leave a comment for us, like, find it helpful, dislike if you didn't, and I will see you in the next tutorial.